Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Firstly, I would like to introduce myself My name is Ahmad Muzaki And in this occasion, I would like to present About writers, readers, and texts As we know that a writer and a narrator are different Or unequal Writer has a text in writing or constructing something else or some information in a text and then an actor itself is a storyteller or a person who narrates or who tells about story or narration itself a target of the writer itself is a reader a reader is a person who reads about some information which the writer wrote and then a target of a narrator itself is a narrative a narrative is a person who gets or who feels or who reads or who listens about some narrations or some stories which the narrator narrated and then definition of text itself is something or written work as a information narrations reports news and so on and then writer and Copywriter are also unequal or different. Writer usually writes about some informative, educative, engaging text so that the target or the reader can get interest by reading those information or by reading about some information some information themselves and then copywriter writes about commercial or interesting text and then they usually write about advertisement or advertising text so that the target or the reader themselves can get interest by buying copywriter's product I also have one video for you guys this is this is a video of advertisement of one of the advertisement in Indonesia so Check it out. Okay guys, what can you infer from my video? I think the reason of the writers or the narrators wrote their product by using tagline Teh Pucuk Harum Rasa teh yang terbaik ada di pucuknya because both of them, both in terms of their product and their tagline are the same implications so the target of themselves or the reader can remember well about their product or their advertisement perhaps when we go out to a tea plantation and we take about a shoot of the tea or in Indonesian is pucuk 
at the same time we absolutely remember we absolutely remember about their product or their advertisement maybe it's my interpretation about their tagline thank you okay guys i also have one of the advertisements in indonesia that is good day freeze and the reason of the writers themselves wrote their product or their advertisement by using tagline good day freeze kopi dingin ya pakai air dingin because it use simple words that is dingin started by the word of dingin and ended by the word of dingin as well so it can also be remembered by us and then maybe it's the translation of Indonesia English or English Indonesia which has the implications inside their product and their tagline maybe that's enough of all my explanations thank you for watching thank you for listening thank you for your attention more or less I apologize I was so sorry if I had lots of mistakes stay safe and keep healthy Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, I'm the second presenter My name is Nada Nadira Azira Zamzami I wanna explain about writer and reader more specific First, let's talk about writer Because of the definition of writer was explained by the first presenter I think you got it about that to be a good writer, there is characteristic which the writer should have and do. First, creative. The advertisement must be interesting, so the writer should have ability to make something new ideas. If the writer can make out of the box, then your product can get attention. Second, knowing target. Knowing the target is important because it can help making categories which sound familiar with the target. Uh, then third is language. It is important thing the the writer should have to because the message generally delivered by language itself. So the writer must have a good knowledge of the language, especially in language which uh, used in the ads. Uh, fourth is culture. It is another important thing too because the target of the ad is society which have own culture. So the writer must adapt the script with the culture which exists so that the ad can be well received by society and there are no misunderstanding or controversies that can obstruct the successful of product to make sure you understand about this material so i will give an example through a video go check this out
Okay, I think that's funny. Do you agree? <laughs> it is a commercial which aired on television and online media from Gojek Indonesia. Their product is application for smartphone which named Gojek. I think the script writer of this ad has four criteria which I told before. People nowadays like all simple things, right? The offer of this application is to make people easy. This point delivered well by the writer. The writer chose Kuntil Anak as the main character and it it is familiar in Indonesian people and the concept of Kundalana, the Indonesian ghost which people fear of said it to be funny by the writer I think it's out of the box okay uh, next we can talk about uh, we, we have to talk about the writer do and don't the writer do first use simple word imagine uh, if the writer use complicated word it is can reader it is can reader it is can affect the reader will hard to understand the message and the second point is use short use short sentence and the third is use short paragraph the writer should write the script and as simple as the writer can because if it's too long it can make the reader get bored or the message can deliver well and the fourth use active voice not passive it can make the message more simple to understand because sometimes passive voice can make the reader being confused. For example, look at this app. The product is Lazada, an application smartphone for online shopping. This uh, this ad has a highlight words find it love it and buy it these three sentences are simple word and short sentence so it can be it it makes ads easy to understand and for the writer don't the first is don't use adjectives and flowery language because they don't add any value to the reader and the unusual word can make reader confused and second don't use jargon and abbreviation because the jargon and abbreviation just can be understood by certain people third be ambiguous in writing a every word must be clear and understandable so there is no misunderstanding and the fourth is repeat yourself if you repeat the same word in ad it must uh, it can be effective right even it is uh, it is uh, add a cost for your advertisement <laughs> and the last is don't be sexist racist and ageist the writer don't bring up sentiment things which contain discrimination or something like that okay next uh, the topic is the reader it was explained uh, explained by my friends too so in marketing and advertising a target of audience 
is a specific group of people which the target market at which a marketing message is aimed at. Even every ad has specific target, but people who will read the ad is not just a certain group, but it is public. So the writer should make the ad being understandable for all people. Okay, that's all from me. Thanks. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, continuing of explanation before, I'm going to introduce myself first. I'm Halimatu Saadia from a class of language and advertisement subject on sixth semester, and this one third group which is discussed about uh, writer, reader, and text of the ads. And as you probably have listened to my friend's explanation before, uh, now I'm going to talk about copywriter and how the relationship be between a copywriter and text is. And maybe some of you knew about copywriter. Uh, that the definition of copywriter is someone who can help owner business uh, find the right words to sell their products or services. And in here, copywriter uh, quit concepts, uh, research projects, run interviews, edit and proof content, write copy, manage projects, and a whole lot more. And copywriter, uh, maybe now uh, some people make the distinction uh, between uh, copywriters and content uh, writers. So, what is uh, the differences? Uh, in my uh, in my uh, opinion, uh, maybe that copywriters tend to write more promotional copy, and uh, content writers tend to write more blogs, educational and informative uh, copy. But yeah, I don't really draw that distinction. I kind of think that a copywriter does all those things. A copywriter can write blog posts or sales letters. There's no real differences. And then, uh, what do all this uh, what do all these things have in uh, common? Uh, that they all have one goal in mind uh, to encourage the reader to take an action, whether it's to buy your product. Uh, sign up uh, to your newsletter or give you a call maybe uh, so simply put uh, you want the reader uh, to do something of your ad and uh, nowadays a copywriter still remain quitting text with short sentences full of important information about uh, the product uh, and however, many advertising texts are more compact that the text is an integrated unit, ordinary connected wall rather than some unnatural sequence uh, of uh, presses. So in here, uh, I would like to uh, show you an example of the ads uh, that show how copywriters today compose the text even into short uh, narrations so yeah let's uh, check it out the, the ads Uh, from uh, the showing ads, that means uh, something should copywriters do within make the ads. Uh, first is relevant. Relevant uh, means appropriate topic because it is a significant thing that should be considered in order avoiding confusing during uh, the showing ads. And then the second is uh, focus. Uh, it denotes that the ads must give attention to particular person. 
and then the third is timely uh, means give a space to think and avoid the long winded in order to keep the listeners losing their interest and then the last is readable readable means give time to the hearer uh, or feel uh, for a while uh, from the uh, back talk so uh, those are some uh, of the techniques in quitting ad effects and in conclusion uh, copywriting is the art of knowing what you want to say uh, who you want to say it to where to say it and how to say it so your audience listens to you um, because I'm the causing of this group maybe that's all if you have any question uh, just uh, type your question on the comments below uh, yeah thank you for watching Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh